It's a match made in sports retail heaven. Today, two leading online sports retailers, Fanatics and Dreams, are joining forces. Fanatics closed a $150 million equity investment led by some big names, Insight Venture Partners, Bank America, uh, and Dreesen Horowitz, in which our parent company, Bloomberg LP, is an investor, I should say. Joining us now is Fanatics President Jamie Davis from Jacksonville, Florida. Jamie, uh, thanks for coming on the, the program. Let's talk first about what, what this merger means for you. I heard uh, from one of the producers that you expect uh, to eventually be making a billion dollars in annual revenue. How soon and uh, what does this merger have to do with that? First of all, Matt, thanks for having me on. And absolutely, this year we're expected to probably uh, generate about 800, a little over 800 million dollars this year. But pro forma, we think that next year we'll be delivering about a billion dollars in revenue uh, in the online space for sports merchandise. So, uh, what, what about the stuff? We have a whole bunch here on the table. We've got a Saints hat here for Sandy. We've got a toaster that toasts your favorite pro football uh, emblem onto your bread. Uh, the little Dallas Cowboys gnome. I, I did love the Cowboys until I saw the Giants slaughter them at Dallas Stadium. Uh, wh where do people go and buy this stuff? And are they buying more and more and more of it? Or uh, are they just going to come to you more for their uh, sports gear purchases? Well, it's actually very interesting, Matt, that you bring that up. Um, you know, when you look at e-commerce and you look at all the different industries that are out there, uh, largely the internet has actually been quite disruptive to many of those industries. When you look at, say, music or movies or toys and things like that. But the sports business has actually been quite the opposite. And in fact, the internet has actually helped grow and build the, uh, build the industry. And what I mean by that is because of what you just mentioned. It's the, really the displaced sports fan that we're targeting. So, for example, where did you grow up, Matt? Uh, Columbus, Ohio. I'm holding an Ohio State Columbus, Buckeyes Ohio. football in my hand right here, very happily. And I'm not going to pick up this Florida Gators uh, bag. I won't even touch it. <laughs> well, there you go. You're, so you're from Columbus. You live in New York now. And it's pretty hard for you probably just to go into any local retail store and try and get some um, Ohio State merchandise or, or, uh, or uh, any of the, if it's a Browns it's or tough. whatever, you, you know, whatever team you might like. I to go to and steal the shirt off somebody's back. No, you don't. You come to Fanatics, and that's or what you're going to be able to yeah. do. And so, and so, really, that's what our, you know, that's what we're all about. Is we're about being able to serve the displaced fan by being able to have anything from any team, any league, in any color, any size, any gender available for any fan, just easily to be able to get it to them and to be able to mail it to them, which is something that all they right. just simply can't do in the local market. And why we've been able to grow the, you know, been able to grow the old whole industry. I decided to to, to pick up the Gators bag because uh, former Gator quarterback Tim Tebow is coming here to New York. What are the biggest selling jerseys? What are the biggest selling uh, gadgets and gear that you got? Well, the NFL is always a big seller, but college is a very big business for us as well. Really, you know, everything sells, you know, it's everything selling pretty well. We, in addition to having our own brands, we actually also operate the e-retail for over 200 of the professional sports leagues, professional sports teams, and college universities as well, and actually even the media sites. So, you know, we're, we're serving the fan uh, in the Internet space in many different ways, and the sales across the board are very, very strong. All right. Hey, Jamie, thanks so much for joining us. Jamie Davis there, president of Fanatics. We're going to take a quick break here on Street Smart. Come back. Sandy, come back oh. in two uh, with tomorrow today. I'll tell you, it's a good thing you threw that to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you like this?